I'd like you to, your thoughts to go back to Rangawaya here of a hundred years ago. Um, I'll just have to do this quietly, I think. You will find that you'll find there were no there was no power, no roads, um, no pa no lighting, um, just an area just covered in bush with the exception of one or two small areas that was uh, in the clearing. To these conditions came our pioneers. Um, determined to carve or work out farm individual farms for themselves. This was a tremendous task uh, and today we honour and thank those courageous pioneers for what they achieved. They achieved so much in such a short time was so little to do it with. Namely, an axe, a crosscut saw, moorland wedges. This is a fair cry from what we would have today. Um, in 1950, 50, uh, was it 56? No, it was 50, yes, 1955, Charles Pemberton, commissioned by the government to select an area of approximately 10,000 acres for settlement, came into the area. He followed the Oroar River to Table Flat, from whence he got a very good view of uh, the area from that side and came back to Peep of Day. There he got a much better view of a huge area of country, similar in character and uh, bush, everything more or less something um, that made it attractive for picking an area. Having had uh, a knowledge that there was a clearing, um, he visualised that where the clearing would be, so it was into this area that he came. Selected the area on conditions such as they were then, very, very sound, beautiful, native bush, um, no mountainous country, all of a similar nature with um, quite considerable areas of flat. So with that knowledge he took uh, this back to Wellington and so that area was decided on. In 19 uh, 56, this area was balloted for. A hundred acres was the allowable amount for an individual. If he was married, 200 acres or um, two, two brothers could increase it to 200 acres. So that was the grounds on which they started. Um, the poor areas, uh, um, up to 200 acres was allowed. Um, from thence, the real work started. The, these pioneers, so determined and so full of character, started in to clear these areas in as, um, for individual farms. The task was great because they had little or no money. So uh, a, few, a, few area, a small area was cleared for the building of a worry, a tent or something whereby these men could bring their intended wives. So this was the first effort they did. Having done that, they s started in and all these areas had to 
be surveyed. Now, a, a task I've yet to find out how they were so accurate when the bush was so dense and today we find their these areas are very, very, they're, they're true to their um, uh, oh, I think um, true to the lines they put in and the area is almost as it's meant to be. Having done that, uh, they felled bush during the winter months. The summer months, they either worked on survey or the roading that was so necessary from Birmingham to Rangawahi. Um, a nine foot track was put in and uh, um, made passable for horse, uh, horse pack horses and uh, something of that nature until later when they were able to bring in um, a small uh, number of vehicles. Uh, in the autumn, these areas were fired. The bush, uh, the air army in the bush, that had been felled during the winter was fired and it depended very largely on the condition, weather conditions, as to whether that burn was a satisfactory or, or not. If unsatisfactory, um, the clearing was made doubly hard. Um, having done that, it was fenced. Fenced with a stab type of fence, the material cut sword and cut with axes and a stab fence was put through their boundaries and uh, later it was divided as uh, time permitted. Um, in a short course of time um, a worry was, uh, no I think there was a worry school built at the Pemberton corner um, a store, and a small blacksmith shop. This was to service the area. And later, not very much later, a telephone was, um, a post office was put in. This was due to the road from the, uh, or the flats of Rangawai here being so swampy that it, it made it almost impassable. Animals were lost, pack horses were lost, hum, human beings had to um, brave their lives in trying to get through. So the, these buildings were put in until such times as the road was made passable. Then the store, blacksmith shop, uh, post office, no, the post office continued some time at Pemberton and later uh, there was the post office at Pemberton and the post office at Rangawahia. Uh, this gave service to people from um, or the, the Worry Road or um, Beckett Estate and those people received their mail from this end and uh, uh, the others were served from the post office in Rangawahia.